Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Say so because from time, well, time and time again. The Inspector General of Police, every time he opens his mouth, has said the most outra outrageous things. Today, he's in the paper saying that the reason the opposition has stopped from having rallies is because the other side, meaning the UPND, can attack them. Now we've come to understand that UPND is a violent party. But there, were, there was no mention of the UPND. In that. Well, in, if he's you going to say the, the opposition, other side, yes, the, yes. the other side of yeah. the opposition yeah. means what? Mm. The other side of the opposition, IP, this is a very straightforward issue. So if he's going to say the other side of the opposition, he's obviously talking about the ruling party. And uh, what we've seen lately, the other side, what, the behavior of the other side is that they have been insulting the former president. They have been out on the street <coughs> breaking people's vehicles. They've been out on the streets breaking people, uh, people's shops. They've been out on the streets harassing people. We have seen so many videos in the last one week of the true character of the UPND cadres, or at least the, uh, the, the coming in of cadarism as it is uh, being defined in a loose sense, where it means those that are rowdy, those that are <coughs> hooligans. Though he says that I will not allow those who are... Uh, uh, violent to be my supporters. He is not really strong on them. He is not identifying any one of them. He was able to say, okay, they were attending a burial of a colleague, may he so rest in peace, meaning that he knows who they are. He knows who died. He knows who the, the, the cadres went for. He knows why they were behaving the way they were behaving. And he knows that they belong to the UPND. It is not just a matter of lip service for him to say, this is what's going to happen. The same way he's been saying, no, uh, police, you do this. The same way he said, follow up that matter for, for that uh, person who raided the police. is the same way he should have said, follow up each and every one of those that were, were, were walking the streets, uh, COVID, causing confusion. He, he said quite a number of things that uh, he ought not to have said as a president. It was not expected. So uh, I was on the issue of Grafa Omsamba. The president even goes to the extent, shockingly so, of saying if the police do not do their work, I will engage the army. That was a very reckless statement. That is how, Why do we say so? That's, it's mandated. That is how tyranny begins, because you can't unleash the soldiers on your citizens because the police have failed. The police have failed because there's Grafa Omsamba there. Change the IG. Change the energy. It's that simple. How many times is it going to change? It is going to change for as long as the ones that are there are showing the incompetence that Rafa Samba has shown. See, the problem is with the leadership, as it were. The leadership of the police has shown that this person who is there is so shallow in his thinking and is telling the president, I'm not allowing the opposition because your people can attack them. That is what he is saying. And the president is saying, no, I will not be supported by people who are acting in that manner. And yet, not too long ago, 
There was a statement by Trevor Mwinde and uh, this guy saying, give us power. Let us uh, allow us to go out there and do what we have to do. We sort out ACL. The same cutters are the ones that, uh, that were saying police, warning the police, warning Grafom Zambandi's police to say, hands off. Let us deal with this person. The moment they said that, we have seen all this uh, violence creeping in. We have seen the insults creeping in. We have seen the, the European decaders carrying out processions, which he said are illegal when uh, <laughs> President, <laughs> when President uh, Isiel walked in town. He said that was an illegal procession. What is he saying about the procession that the, his cadres took when they went to, uh, to DEC the day Madame Esther Lungu was arrested? What is he saying about it? Why isn't he talking about that? What was happening yesterday? Wasn't that a procession? What is he saying about it? Basically, he has instructed the Zambia police to ensure that uh, those men and women that are uh, uh, disrupted uh, or that were disturbing the people, they should be arrested. That's what the president mentioned in his speech. Now, now if, if you're going to rely on a president to give such an instruction, then you are incompetent. That's why I'm saying Grafa Omisamba is the most incompetent IG I know that has ever existed in this country. Because now there's been an instruction from the president, yet the whole time, look at that procession, at the uh, Drug Enforcement Commission. The police were there watching those guys walking the street and insulting, wooding pangas. The police were watching when one of them was, was moving around with that uh, bat, what do you call it, a bat a club or something? Mm. Yes, the police were watching. Yesterday, as those guys were being rowdy in the manner that they were, the police were watching. Those that came to court to cause uh, disturbances uh, at court yesterday when uh, the five opposition leaders or opposition members were appearing at court, those were UPND members. The police were watching. Are we going to be segregative in the manner that we approach uh, our affairs as a country? Are we going to be segregative in the manner that we deal with issues in this country? If the president has uh, problems with uh, the manner the police are conducting themselves. He knows where the problem is, but he won't address it. He won't address it because he bound himself when he said that the best IG he has ever appointed is Grafa Omusamba. He wished he had uh, appointed him earlier. And when we see Grafa Omusamba behaving in the manner that he behaves, we take it that he has the blessings of President Haka in Chilema. You can't deal with such a thing with a mere slap on the wrist the way he did. That was just a slap on the wrist. You don't do that. And the president who takes things so personal as if everything depends on him. Look at the curious case of Emmanuel J. Banda. What I'd expected is that the president was going to address the issue of the abduction of Emmanuel J. Banda. That, is an, that was a topical issue that happened last week. He ought to have given the country some form of direction. Look at how he dealt with the issue of the cadres who were making noise just yesterday. He has all the information on his fingertips to say they were attending a burial of a member of uh, UPND. Why doesn't he tell us how JJ was abducted? JJ's vehicle was found at a place uh, where, which ordinarily would consider a crime scene. What we had expected is that the police would get to that scene without moving the vehicle. Conduct forensics that they ought to conduct at the scene of the accident. More news to come my lovely viewers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below. And also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.